I antique it because I plan on making it look like there's like wood like it's chipping off back down to the wood but I have a secret way that I do that where it's really not chipping back to the wood it's like a fake out way to do it so you see how that's like coming along and I am getting dizzy from the paint fumes it just has like really noxious <laughs> I'll pass, pass out on camera not not really, but oh, it smells gross. All right, got to go on to the more brown color in there and add a little bit of brown, a little bit more coral. I know it looks yucky at first, but once it gets blended in, it kind of will start to make more sense. I think I have to put a fan on in here and open up a window. It's been raining all day. And it's in the 50s now. So I did take care of the horses this morning. And Jamie, because of her trace clip, and because she's the thoroughbred, and so is Fru, but Poppy Frumonti has, like, two-inch long hair. He wasn't, like, cold. She felt like cold under her blanket today so I gave her her medium weight blanket and it's supposed to get down in the 30s tonight so because of that because of that I put her midweight blanket back on don't want her to be cold I'm just misting I don't want it to be drippy. This is not the application for drippiness right now. This is just me trying. Now see how I'm kind of leaving that already kind of light and kind of going around it. It's just kind of. And right now what I'm doing is just kind of playing around. I'm not really sure if this is what I want or if this is how it's going to end up. This is just me just playing around. I'm liking what's happening, you know, but I think it's going to be so many layers of paint by the time I get done with it, that it's not even going to look like what's happening right now. It's going to just look like this old pink antique beautifulness. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, that's what I want to go for. So I'm shaking the camera again. <laughs> forgetting that shakes the camera so I'm gonna kind of feather that in there okay so what I'm gonna do now is end this video because I definitely this is gonna need to dry I'm gonna just kind of blend it a little bit get those paintbrush lines off because so I do want it to have like a nice blended finish and I do like what's happening here where it kind of looks wet and drippy Let's see what happens if I do a little bit more in there so it is kind of dripping which I kind of am liking it like I told you on that one green piece that I just did I didn't want it to be drippy but this, I don't mind. Look at look at what's happening here. I like that. Some of this paint is semi-gloss paint. So semi-gloss paint kind of doesn't play nice when you're painting with it. It dries. It gets slippery. Next layer doesn't really stick good. But it was oops paint. It was cheap. So... We're going with that. So I'm liking that. I'm liking what's happening. I'm going to end here and just let this dry for a little bit. Because I really like what's happening with the finish. So if anybody out there is an artist that 
has done anything pink. Should I do dark knobs like what were on there? You can see that on the other video. And I switch, I'm switching them with these French country ones. I can either go that way or that way. We'll see what happens when I do that later. But I'm going to stand back and look at this. I, I do like what's happening with it. And I want to put all my paints away so that they don't dry out. I don't have that many paints. I might just do this cabinet and then... stuff stinks so bad. It smells like poison. Oh, I lost the lid to that. Oh, gosh, here it is. Okay. The dogs just love to get into stuff. Alright, so I kind of darker down there so it really changes the color of the paint when you add brown in there it's like you can't go back over it without blending it or it will like totally be ruined. look what's here it's missy toes hi hey toes toes is my paint buddy today look at her she's so cute All right, I'm going to stand up and look at this from far away and see what I think. I'm not painting the side yet because I'm going to have to get all these cabinets out of the way. But I just wanted to mess it around and just see. So it is kind of dripping. I like the very variegated look to that. I'm going to stand back and see. So personally, that looks more like built-in furniture than kitchen cabinets, but this over here, I did like a faux bean drawer over there, but I took that cabinet door off and I put it around the corner. So I cleaned all these cabinets and I think I'm just going to maybe keep them, but I might do either this pink or that pink. But I don't want to do the whole kitchen pink. I just want to do select pieces. So this is going to... This is going to dry for a little bit. Now this is called a blending technique. Because I know a lot of people will just paint like a solid pink. And then they go over it with the clear wax. And then the dark wax. And everything else. I hate wax. Because if I want to paint these over again. Then you have to strip the wax off with like harsh chemicals. I don't want to do that. Like, um, some kind of, like, a, like a paint thinner type of a chemical. So with this, all I have to do is just give it a light sanding, clean it, reprime it, and go over it again. But yeah, I kind of like that. Now, it doesn't look like it's curving, but it's got the light and shadows where I want the light and shadows to be. I wanted it to be a little bit more popping out in the center. Rather than do each individual, like, piece of um, applique, wooden appliques. Because that's, like, a given. You're going to go around the appliques and you're going to put, like, antiquing around them and highlight a little bit. That's, like, a given. But I kind of wanted to just... I like that. Alright, so over and out. That's that for now. And then... I'm going to mess around with the knobs and see which knobs look good with that. And then there's going to be some antiquing glaze maybe in the things and a little bit more highlights. But I think for the most part, that's that has a look I want. I like it. So, all right, over and out. Elmer.